Just a quick one before we get into today's video, guys. We have got a lot of Liverpool t-shirts available on our website, so do browse the collection by going down into the link in the description or go into copiclothing.com. Let's get into today's video. And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys, I hope you're all well before we do get into today's video, as always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Just one game left remaining of this Premier League campaign, where the hell does time go, eh? Southampton this weekend, in which will now be a dead rubber, of course, yesterday Manchester United beat Chelsea 4-1 to secure themselves a Champions League spot, meaning that Liverpool cannot finish any lower than fifth and can't finish any higher than fifth um, so as I say is Europa League football going into next season that is confirmed um, yeah that's it so but Southampton as I said is a bit of a dead rubber game um, against a relegated side they have nothing to play for but I guess it's a chance to maybe um, see players in action for the final time and um, yeah I don't know just uh, maybe experiment with some ideas have a free hit ahead of a busy busy summer transfer window now, before we get into today's main topic, which is, of course, transfer news, I just want to touch upon what Jurgen Klopp has said regarding the game. Um, as I said, he did provide a bit of an injury update on one or two players. Um, and, of course, and dropped a bit of transfer news as well. So, what he said on player availability, he said Darwin trained yesterday, Canate was ill, and Roberto, Rob, Roberto Robertson felt something in his groin. The rest should be all right. So, as I said, Darwin trained yesterday. That makes out that he probably won't be available for it. However, it's good to see him back in training again. Canate was ill, so he won't be involved. Robertson doesn't know he'll be involved, but everyone else should be. So that's uh, what Klopp has said with regards to the game against Southampton. Um, and this is the a bit of transfer news that he said there. This isn't the main topic of the video. It's just something that he said. Um, regarding Fabio Carvalho, it's something we documented on the channel as well. I said, uh, Klopp said, I think there is a possibility that Carvalho will go out on loan next season. No player has impressed me more than Fabio. Fabio, a very talented boy, but didn't, but it didn't work this season. Look, that's something we've been pushing uh, so far this season that he will likely go out on loan in the summer. Um, however. As I said there, Klopp just confirming that one there. Now, let's get into the transfer news. Look, there has been lots of talk with regards to transfers in the build-up to the summer transfer window. Uh, Paul Joyce, Fabrizio Romano came out saying Liverpool's main targets were McAllister and, of course, Mason Mount. However, there has been a few twists and turns along the way. And now there's two new targets being revealed after the Mason Mount not snub, but um, Mason Mount prefers a move to Manchester United over uh, Liverpool if he was to leave this summer. Both Manchester United and Liverpool in the race for Mount. Uh, so, as I said, so it looks unlikely that Mount will actually go to Liverpool this summer. Now, reports have basically came out that uh, Liverpool are setting their sights on Ajax's midfielder, Kudus as a potential replacement. Um, basically, a report goes on to say from uh, Jacques Talbot uh, from the space is saying that Liverpool will see the 22-year-old Kudus as a potential signing after that Mason Mount fallout. Uh, Liverpool followed Kudus since January and Talbot writes that the Ghanaian midfielder would be available for, available for about half the price that Manchester United will offer for Mount. Kudus is a versatile player, able to play as a number 10 on the wings and even up front. Kudus could prove to be available, a valuable all-rounder who could fit in almost every position across Liverpool's attack. So there you go. Now that's an interesting one. I do follow Ajax a little bit. They've had a bit of a struggling season, but he's certainly a player that always stands out when you do watch him. Um, so yeah, that could be an interesting signing there if Liverpool went in to go get it. As I said, a few reports stating that one. No Paul Joyce, no Fabrizio, no David Ornstein quite on this one. So I would give it a bit of an orange light. Um, however, as I say, a few reputable journalists reporting that Thomas Kudus could be a potential signing this summer. Um, on Further on to that, Kicker have came out and stated that Liverpool also monitoring Benjamin Pavard. Now, Benjamin Pavard, of course, plays for Bayern Munich, a World Cup winner, of course, won the World Cup back in 2018 with France. Um, and apparently his situation is unknown at 
uh, Bayern Munich. Bayern do want him to stay, uh, but he may be looking at a different challenge. That comes from Kicker, um, a fairly reputable publicist. And as I say, there's a few clubs monitoring his situation. And I'll just get the uh, the thing up. Sorry, I'm looking at my phone. I'm just getting the information up. Uh, but yeah, basically it's stating that uh, Liverpool are in the market, maybe, a monitoring Benjamin Pavard situation, which does make sense because Jorge Schmatka, uh, who's just coming in as the director of football, um, there was a lot of reports stating that he will be going after a lot of Bundesliga signings and his main market will be in Germany. So as I say, it does all add up. Um, but basically what it's being said is that Real Madrid, Manchester United and Liverpool have joined the race for Benjamin Pavard. All three clubs have inquired about the player. Pavard's decision is getting closer and it should be made ahead of the last game of the season. Bayern do want to keep him about, uh, but as I said, it's up to the player whether he wants to extend his stay at the current German champions. Um, so yeah, that's an interesting one there. Um, Pavard. Um, apparently Inter Milan made an offer in the winter and Barcelona are also interested. The plans of Thomas Tuchel, with whom Pavard has a very good relationship with, will certainly play a major role in the Frenchman's decision. Again, that's from Kicker. That's a fairly reputable source, but it's no like concrete uh, links there with Liverpool. It's just saying Liverpool have maybe inquired in Pavard. Um, however, as I said, it's something to maybe just keep you an eye on because the new director of football, Jorge Smatka, um, is apparently going to be focusing on Bundesliga or German signings. So yeah, interesting in that regard. There is also an update with regards to Romeo Lavia. In a recent video, we also stated as well that Romeo Lavia had emerged as a potential target inside Anfield sources, basically said they're huge admirers of the player. And of course, he um, is going to be moving on this summer because he is too good for the championship. Uh, and basically, the update with regards to it is that Manchester City are not looking to trigger their clause in re-signing Romeo Lavia. And Liverpool are interested in the player. That's according to the Times, who are fairly reputable as well. So as I said, all it is is interest at this stage, but it also went on to state that Manchester City aren't interested um, in re Signing was I said they had a buy back clause on him um, and that they can trigger. However, it doesn't look like they're going to be doing that. Um, so yeah, three players there that have emerged: Romeo Lavia, uh, Thomas Kudus, and then of course Benjamin Pavard. Um, all of which are very, very good players. So interesting to see how that one uh, materializes. Now, yesterday, of course, as I touched upon at the start of the video, um, it was confirmed that Liverpool, of course, finished in Europa League. And Mohamed Salah put out a Instagram post. He's basically said, I'm totally devastated. There's absolutely no excuse for this. We had everything we needed to make it to next year's Champions League. And we failed. We are Liverpool and qualifying for this competition is the bare minimum. I am sorry, but it's too soon for an uplifting or optimistic post. We have let you down and ourselves down. So yeah, Mohamed Salah came out straight away with that one. It come a little bit of backlash from uh, some supporters. Some supporters didn't want him to put that out there. And some supporters uh, like how open and honest he was, uh, stating it's more passion and all the rest of it. Me, I just think... It is what it is. I think Liverpool, um, yeah, should be playing in the Champions League. But I think a lot of Liverpool fans knew that that wasn't going to be happening um, even before the World Cup, just due to the club's form. It was absolutely atrocious. So uh, that's uh, that on that front. Uh, Liverpool fans, please do let me know your thoughts on the transfer targets that we mentioned. Benjamin Pavard, uh, Thomas Kudus, and of course, Romeo Lavia. Would they be players that would get you excited if the club signed them this summer? Please do let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section below. That brings us to the end of today's video. As always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Remember, we do have Liverpool t-shirts available on our website, so do browse the collection by going down into the link in the description or go to copbikeclothing.com. Thank you. I'll see you all next time. Take care. Peace.